Hi, I'm Max from Mario Plugin. Today I want to show you how you can make a virtual camera setup for 3D Studio Max using the HTC Vive. Now I'll be using the Vive Tracker, but you could also use the Vive Controller or you could use Oculus Rift. I'll be using the Virtual Camera and Tracker plugin, VCAT. When you buy VCAT, you will receive this confirmation email containing your license credentials and a download link. Go to the website and use the username and password to download your plugin. Save the plugin to the 3D Studios Max plugin folder. In this case, this would be C Program Files Autodesk 3ds Max 2018 plugins. Now, the next time I start 3D Studio, the plugin will be loaded automatically and a new menu will appear in your menu bar. Before I get started, let me quickly set up a demo scene. I'll be creating just two teapots and a camera. Now I start the plugin. The first time you run it, you will be asked for your subscriber ID. Use the username you received in your confirmation email. Then a new rollout menu will be added to your controls. You can use this menu to attach virtual objects to various VR devices. In this case, I will select the camera and attach it to the HTC Vive Tracker. Now that the camera is attached to the tracker, I can control it by moving the HTC Vive Tracker. I can even set the viewport to look at the scene from the camera. By default, the camera will be looking up from the tracker. This allows me to attach the tracker to the backside of a computer screen. However, in your case, you may want to attach your camera at the top of the tracker. This is possible by setting a rotation offset. Now you can attach the camera to the top of your virtual camera rig. If you want to mount your virtual camera rig on the bottom of the controller, you can simply specify a rotation offset around 180 degrees. At any time, you can pause the tracking by checking the Pause Tracking checkbox. Uncheck it to resume tracking. Below, you can set the scale of your 3ds Max scene. In this case, scene units are interpreted as real-world meters. You can set them to feet or yards. You can also rotate and position the scene to make it fit to your real-world environment.
Now, in order to record your camera motion, just select the camera, turn on auto keyframe and press play. You can use the 3ds Max time configuration to configure your frame rate, recording speed and animation range. Finally, I can also use VCAD to attach other objects in the scene to the Vive controller. I just select one of the teapots and attach it to the right controller. Now the teapot is attached to the controller and will follow its every motion. This too can be used to record animations. And that's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates.